Hello and welcome to the show, I'm Justin Bell. Now in every episode of Collector Car Classifieds, we'll be taking you into the world's top dealers, brokers and collectors. Every car on our show is for sale and we want you to buy one. So if you like what you see, go to eBay Motors and be the first to click on that Buy It Now button. With all these fabulous cars here at Checkered Flag in Marina del Rey, California, you know there's a lot to see. Let's meet Neil, the man behind it all. I'm pleased you asked me about this car, Justin. It's one of my favorite. It's a 79 VW Beetle, and it's called the Epilogue Edition because it's triple black, and 79 was the last year of production for Volkswagen Beetles in America. What makes this unique, really, is that it's got 5,100 miles. So it's a perfect car. It's a no-brainer. You can look at it from five feet away and see it's new, it's perfect. It's had no paintwork, it's got all its original books and keys, it's always been in California. Um, it's as new as they come. A quick tip about buying Volkswagens is to lift the hood, have a good poke around in the front, but look at these seams here, because often uh, they have a front end collision. Even a low speed one um, will leave some evidence of the accident because it's very vulnerable in the front. It's not double skinned or anything. What you don't want to do is buy a car that's been damaged, fix it up and still have a car that tells the story of its prior life and really diminish its final value. The top's amazingly easy. I hate to do this, probably never, the top's never been down before I shouldn't think, but it's that easy. You can look at the interior and you can see none of this is redone. These are original seats. A dash is a very expensive uh, item to replace on one of these and this is the original dash and perfect. So as you can see, I've got a bit of a soft spot for VW Beetles. Fantastic little car. This is a 1952 MG TD. Cute little English four-cylinder car, very simple. Most of them are worth 15 to maybe $20,000. So their ceiling is probably 30, 35 under normal circumstances. And this is a car that's probably had about 60,000 spent on restoration. And it's ridiculously new everywhere. Got a leather interior, uh, canvas soft top. It's also got a tonneau, full weather equipment, which are side curtains. Seriously, check this out. It's new. Everything has been done, every nut and bolt. All mechanics, the engine, the trans, the wiring system. The doors fit beautifully. All the instruments have been reconditioned. Even the steering wheel's new. A few helpful tips buying them. Um, there's a lot of timber in the frames. And if you buy one from a wet climate, the timber can get very soggy and uh, it can be a bit of a nightmare to restore. So you want to check and see that the wood is good. And one of the ways to do that is see how the door fit is. Corrosion, obviously, is another simple thing. And that's easy to check. If you see rust in the chassis, it's a rusty car. Stay away from it. You're not going to find another car like this. It, this is uh, ridiculous value. Let's make a deal. This is a lovely little car we've got for sale. It's a 1959 Triumph TR3A, original paint, 65,000 miles, wire wheels, overdrive, 25,900. This is one of my favorites. 56 Alfa Romeo Giulietta Spider. I've restored this over the last four years. It's expensive, but it's gorgeous, 64,900. Finally, this is a 65 Porsche 356 SC coupe, matching numbers, rust free, a really sweet little example we're asking, 54,500. Thanks for looking. This is another great car. It's a 1949 Chrysler Town & Country convertible. Why I like this car is because it's a deal. This sold at RM Auctions in 2009 for 123,000. The new owner spent another 25,000 dialing it in. And we're asking under 90,000. It's a great, unmolested, unrusty example that's really been dialed in. This has an eight cylinder Spitfire engine, 135 horsepower. It's not only a desirable car, but it's pretty rare. I think they made less than 3,000 total production from 46 to 49, and in 49, less than 1,000 cars were built. And that was it. That was the end of the town and country convertible. I think they made the coupe for another year and that was the end of the model run, and that was the end of Woody's for, for America, American car production. So check the checkered flag eBay store and hit the Buy It Now button, why don't you? Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. Now, remember, every car that you've just seen for the past 30 minutes is on sale right now on eBay Motors. The information is below on how to get through on that. Now, not quite sure that you saw something you want to buy? Well, I bet next week you will. Coming up in the next episode of Collect Car Classifieds. 
see you there.